Hello, uh, I'm Ronnie Dinde, working at Dramatic Girl Studio. Right now I'm going to work on TC Electronics 2290 Digital Delay. And I have a session open here with uh, Mö, a song called Pilgrim. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is to uh, work with the delay on the hook uh, lead vocal. And let's get to it. Why do you and I live on and on? So put the uh, effect on ascent. With a with a full mix and um, let's have a look. The delay time is now set to uh, one eighth, and uh, I think I'm gonna try with one fourth. It's a bit too much feedback, so I'm gonna take that down a notch. Don't like it too wet on the on the delays in general. So, it feels a bit too much. I'm going to go back to 1 8 again. It's not a question anymore. Yeah, it feels better with the ryth rhythm of, of, the, uh, of the vocal, I think. So, let me try and have a look at the modulation part, which is really cool. Um, gonna activate that here. And start with the sign. It's not a question anymore. Why do you and I live I think I like it at around. Let's try around I like 65. It's not a question anymore. Take out some of the depth. I'm gonna turn it a little bit so I can hear what I'm doing. So this is a nice subtle delay. I think I might want to add a little bit of feedback to make it a little bit more effective. So what I'm going to do on the feedback now is that I kind of feel like I want to want to mess around with the frequencies a bit. So I'm going to see. It. So right now it's high cut at. 8,000 hertz, and uh, I'm gonna try and take that to 4,000. Make it a bit like softer on the delay sound. Sounds good. On the low cut, it's on 400. And start at zero. It's 100, 200, 400. I think I want to keep it at 400. I like when the uh, when there's not too many frequencies flying around on the delay. Um, so another cool feature on the uh, 2290 is the pan thing. I'm gonna try and mess around with the panning on the delay a little bit. I'm gonna have it on the direct signal. Turn it up a little bit. I'm going to try to go back to one fourth to see how that feels. Sorry, I was the wrong way. Yeah, so that's too much. I'm going to go back to one eighth. Cool. Sounds really cool. I'm going to try and hear it on the full mix. Isolate the delay for a minute. Cool. I think I want to mess it up a little bit more, so I'm going to try and mess around with the modulation a little bit here. So I'm going to go to the delay setting. Sign. I'm going to try random instead of sign. Give it a bit more speed. A bit more depth. Cool. Sounds really good. I'm gonna try and hear the full mix again. Sounds really good. What I really like about this sound is that it blends nicely with the track and it has a really like natural sound and very like musical tone. And I'll try and activate the uh, the uh, 
250 that I just tweaked on before and see how they work together. Just like this, I'll turn it up a bit. Holla, 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 holla. It feels a little bit too wet now, so I'm gonna turn down the 250 a little bit. To minus 16, turn it up. Solo the track. Solo the track so I can hear exactly what's going on. So right now I feel like it's a nice, lush, but controlled um, reverb and delay blended together. And I kind of like that when it's not too soaked in with too many effects. And that's usually what I'm doing when I'm working with uh, reverbs and delays. So I'm gonna have a last listen on the full song. Cool. Sounds amazing. I'm gonna save this one as a preset called Dramatic Vocal Lead One. 